हेलो एवरी वन एंड वेलकम बैक टू द मल्टीमीडिया सीरीज ओके सो इन टूडेज भिडियो उ उल डिसकसिंग द इमेज एंड भिडियो पार्ट वन उल स्टार्ट बै एक्सप्लोरिंग द इमेज फर्मेट द कलर स्कीम्स एंड इमेज एनहेंसमेंट टेक्निक्स दें उ उल मुव ऑन टू द हाउ भिडियो इज कैपचार स्टोर्ड एंड ट्रांसमिटेड इन बोथ एनालग एंड डिजिटल फर्म्स बै द एंड अफ दिस भिडियो यू उल हैव अ स्ट्रंग अंडारस्टैंडिंग अफ हाउ इमेजेस एंड भिडियोज आर हैंडल्ड इन माल्टीमिडिया सिसटेम्स ओके सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड ओके एट फार्स्ट इमेज फर्मेट्स इमेजेस इन माल्टीमिडिया कम इन द वेरियस फर्मेट्स इच सार्विंग स्पेसिफिक नीड्स कमन फर्मेट्स इनक्लूड लाइक द जेपी जी पी एन जी जी आई एफ एंड बी एम पी जेपी जी इज वाइडली यूज फर द फोटोज बिकज इट बैलेंसेज द क्वालिटी एंड द फाइल सज बूजिंग कम्प्रेशन वी उल डिसकस इन द फार्दार भिडियोज लाइक डेटा कम्प्रेशन टेक्निक्स ओके पी एन जी इट सपोर्ट्स द ट्रांसपारेंसि मेकिंग इट आइडियल फर वेब ग्राफिक्स मीन्स इन वेब पेजेस वी सी मल्टीपल इमेजेस ओके वाइल जी आई एफ इज यूज फर शर्ट एनिमेशन्स लाइक द स्टिकार्स ओके द बी एम पी is an uncompressed format that retains the high quality but takes up more space okay so choosing the right format it depends on whether you prioritize the image quality file size or special features like transparency or animation okay so now image color scheme and image color scheme refers to how colors are represented and used in the image The two main color models in multimedia are RGB and CMYK. RGB means red, green, and blue. It is used for digital displays like the monitors and TVs. It combines these three colors in different amounts to produce a wide range of colors. Okay, CMYK means cyan, magenta, yellow, and black. Is used for printing. means as it better represent how colors are mixed with ink like the printer machines printed copy okay color print understanding the color models helps to ensure accurate color representation in the multimedia project okay so now the image enhancement image enhancement is a process of improving the visual quality of an image this can be done by adjusting the brightness the contrast the sharpness and or applying filters to reduce the noise or the or correct the colors enhancement technique are widely used in the photography design and video production to make the images more appealing or to highlight the specific details okay for example increasing the sharpness can make an image clearer while adjusting the brightness can bring out the hidden details in the dark areas of a photo okay so now analog and digital video so video can be either analog or digital analog video records a continuous signals like those used in older tvs okay broadcast and vhs tapes in contrast the digital video converts this signal into discrete data which is easier to store edit and transmit Digital video is commonly used today because it offers the higher quality and more efficient storage. Examples of uh, digital video formats include the MP4 or and AVI format video files. Okay, the shift from analog to digital has greatly improved the quality and the accessibility of video content. Okay. so now recording formats and standards like jpeg mpeg and h.261 so there are very different formats for recording and compression video jpeg is mainly used for still images but can also be applied to video mpeg is a widely used standard for compressing the video to reduce the file size while also maintaining the quality For example, MPEG-4 is commonly used for streaming the videos online. H.261 It is a video compression standard developed for 
video conferencing, offering the lower bit rates and efficient compression. So this standard helps to ensure that video can be stored and transmitted efficiently without losing the quality. Okay. So now transmission of video signals. The transmission of video signals involves sending the video data from one location to another. This can be done through various mediums including the radio waves, satellite and uh, the internet. Okay. So video streaming platforms like YouTube use the internet to transmit the digital video signals to users worldwide to transmit the video efficiently. Compression techniques like those used in MPG are essentials. They reduce the amount of data needed while maintaining also the good video quality, enabling the faster transmission over the networks. Video captures. Video capture refers to the process of recording the video from an external source such as the camera or the screen and saving it to a computer. This can be done using the software or hardware like captured card. Once captured, the video can be edited, compressed and converted into different formats. Video capture is an essential part of creating the multimedia content, whether for film production, live streaming or screen, screen recording tutorials. High quality video capture ensures that the original content is preserved in the digital form. Okay. So, computer based animation. Computer based animation is the process of creating the moving images using the computers. Uh, these animations can be 2D like the cartoon style animation we see or 3D like those seen in the modern films and video games. So the animation process involves like creating a sequence of frames where each frame slightly changes from the previous one to create the illusion of the movement software like the adobe animate or blender is commonly used to create the animation for multimedia project making them engaging and interactive okay so now and that's all for today's video i hope you now have a solid understanding of how images and videos are managed in multimedia including formats and uh, color schemes and the basics of video capture and transmission in the next video we will uh, continue our discussion on synchronization and storage model. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. So see you in the next video. Okay.